The topic of this video is properties of tilted or slanted lines. Any line that is not horizontal or vertical is tilted or slanted. Such lines have some very useful properties. For example, tilted lines always have a slope and a y-intercept. To find them, rearrange the equation to be in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and 0 comma b is the y-intercept. To write the equation of a tilted or slanted line, you need two things, a slope and a point. The equation can be found using the following flowchart. All right, we know we need a slope and a point. The first box of our flowchart helps us get the slope. The second box of our flowchart helps us get our point. Then we have a decision arrow. We will take the left path if we choose a point with an x-coordinate of zero, and we will take the right path if we choose a point with an x-coordinate that is not zero. Once we've chosen a left or right path, we will then take information and place it into one of our line writing forms, either slope-intercept form or point-slope form. And then finally, if necessary, we rearrange the equation to be in the correct final form. For example, the instructions of a problem may say that your final form needs to be in standard form, also sometimes called general form, or the instructions may say that your final answer needs to be in slope-intercept form. Let's go through the flowchart together. First box, determine your slope. If your line should be parallel to some given line, then they must have the same slope. So find the slope of the given line, and that will be the slope of your line. Another possibility is that your line needs to be perpendicular to a given line. If that's true, then their slopes are opposite reciprocals of one another. So find the slope of the given line and then compute the opposite reciprocal to get the slope of your line. If your line needs to go through two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2, the slope of the line can be determined from the slope formula. m equals the difference y2 minus y1 over the difference x2 minus x1. Of course, there is a hidden fourth possibility, which is that the slope is simply provided for you in the instructions of the problem. All right, so we've got our slope. Now we follow the arrow to the next box. Determine which one point you want to use. You will be provided with at least one point in every problem. So if you're only given one point, then there's no decision to make. That's the point you must use. But if you're given two, choose one. And I'll tell you right now that when you are looking at the left and right paths that are coming up soon, the left path is the easier path. So if you ever have a choice, pick the point with the x-coordinate of zero. All right, so now we have our slope and our point. We take a look at the selected point and specifically its x-coordinate. If the x-coordinate is zero, then we take the path to the left. If the x-coordinate is not zero, then we take the path to the right. Let's explore these paths one at a time. If you have an x-coordinate of zero and you take the path to the left, well then your point is a y-intercept because all y-intercepts have an x-coordinate of zero. So think about what you have at that point. You have a slope, and your point is an intercept. You have a slope and an intercept. So you'll use the slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. Just put your slope, m, and the y-coordinate of your y-intercept, b, in this equation. Now, what if instead you had taken the path to the right? Well, that means that you do not have an x-coordinate of zero, which means your point is not a y-intercept. It's just a plain, simple point. So what do you have by the time you reach this box of the flowchart? You have a slope and a point. So use the point-slope form. y minus y1 equals m times the difference x minus x1. Put your slope m here, and put the coordinates of your point x1, y1 here. You now have the equation of your line. Now, regardless as to whether you took the left or the right path, now look at the instructions for the problem. If they say that your final answer needs to be in a different form than the one you have as of the end of this box or the end of this box, then rearrange your equation to be in the correct form. 